Okay, good evening, everybody. Welcome back to our final segment for uh, our... <laughs> it's the end of the day. I'm like, what, what, what are we doing after all? What is it? The 2020 uh, Signum Webathon. Um, this has been a really wonderful, fun day. Uh, we started about 10 and a half hours ago. And uh, now we have one more thing left to do, and that is my good friend Wigand, who I have to say looks really dapper in his Anorian armor. I'm really fond of this uh, armor as a cosmetic set. Um, I don't know what armor I'm going to find in Mordor. I hear I need something better than what I have, <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, we'll see if I can find anything that can rival in attractiveness my lovely Anorian armor here. But anyhow, uh, as Wigand poses dramatically uh, with the ruins of the Towers of the Teeth and the, the Black Gate behind him, um, we are, um, uh, we are, I'm looking forward to doing what I have uh, been anticipating doing for some time, and that is, of course, walking into Mordor. Uh, Wigand is level 103, so he is two levels under uh, what he theoretically should be in order to be in Mordor. Uh, so we will see how well he does in the survival department. Also, let me just admit right up front, I have no idea what I'm doing. I've heard vaguely. I understand that there's some kind of new game mechanic in Mordor. I've heard rumors about it. Uh, it's uh, Shadow, something to do with Shadow. There's something I'm supposed to have to counter that. No idea. So I'm going to be learning about this as we go. Feel free to advise me uh, if I appear to be doing anything dumb. Uh, because this is going to be me learning about this as I go. Um, Wigand, of course, uh, poor Wigand is being rushed through the quest lines, which is why he's under level, where his friend Grifflet is, um, you know, slowly exploring the entire storyline of Lotro and is therefore way behind him, uh, still in Wildermore. Uh, Wigand has been well, galloping, I say it's... He gallops really fast, just only periodically. <laughs> so um, he's following almost entirely the epic quest line is what I'm doing here. So uh, we will, uh, I will, I will continue. Uh, fortunately, Grifflet did uh, have the kindness to mail to uh, Wigand all of the XP accelerators that he has accrued and which he does not need because he's constantly having to freeze his XP advance. Um, so, um, uh, so anyway, that's uh, we'll we'll see. He should be able to level up, I hope, fairly quickly. Besides, he's a tough guardian. He doesn't need things like survivability. So um, off we go, we're gonna head vaguely towards the south here, going back around the Slag Hills to meet Mithrandir near the Black Gate. So. We are looking around at the Towers of the Teeth, which I was so delighted to discover last time. Uh, so Wigan just had his last, seems like just yesterday, though it was in fact several weeks ago now, um, when Wigan did an all-day marathon in which we not only did the, uh, the Great Wedding, but we also did, uh, you know, we went through... We, I, then, I then went back to the epic quest line, which I had just finished the uh, Battle of Pelmer Field, essentially. Uh, and we went through Northern Athelion and then all the way up to um, the Black Gate and the battle and the downfall of Sauron. The, it was my one disappointment. The one thing I was missing when we got to the downfall uh, of, uh, of Sauron was the downfall of Sauron part. We saw the fall of the tower uh, in the instance. That was cool. So, you know, seeing Barad-dûr uh, collapse was fun. However, um, we... Uh, uh, there's Mithrand here. There we go. Uh, however, what I really wanted to see was the shadowy form in the sky, right? And then, like, get blown away. No shadowy form in the sky. Don't know if we'll get that at some later point. I suspect that we might normally when a major thing that is described like that in the book does not make it into the game. It has been my experience that it's only being withheld for a later time rather than skipped. 
um, they, uh, you know, I, uh, I trust the Loto developers and their attention to detail. So uh, we will, uh, we will see. All right. So here we are just looking around. Gandalf, hang on a second here. Look at the walls. All Remember how I was admiring? I came up here before, like when we were, you know, um, uh, what's the word? Parleying uh, with the mouth of Sauron. Um, and I was admiring the defensibility of the gates and how much more imposing, instead of just simply being a, like a ginormous wall like it is in the movie, um, uh, the way that they... Uh, made this into just like an impenetrable looking fortress and it's now all tumbled about and there's the towers of the teeth looking just like I would have expected them to perfect Gondorian towers with evil Mordor additions to make them look sinister so perfect okay Mithrandir I am ready to explore some more Mordor architecture don't know about you All is not quiet in Mordor. I need someone like yourself to be my eyes upon the wreckage of Sauron's domain. Aragorn has appointed Sador. Sador? Really? A captain of Gondor. Does he limp? Does Sador have two feet? Are they, like, regular feet? Has he had any accidents with axes at any point? Um, it's a good thing I'm not fighting with an axe. I'd feel quite guilty. Um... Right, others lead an expedition into Mordor. Sorry, the references, in case you don't get them. Sador Hoppafoot is the name of a minor character in the Turin Turinbar story, well, the extended Turin Turinbar story that Tolkien wrote after he wrote The Lord of the Rings. Um, so Sador was the, uh, the friend uh, of uh, Turin in his youth, and he was called, uh, uh, he, Turin nicknamed him Labadol. Which means hop a foot, uh, because he was a, he was a clubfoot. He had uh, accidentally cut off his own foot during a tragic wood cutting accident uh, earlier in his life. So uh, that's um, that's the Sador reference. But but I get the, but I like this because of course we do see that in Gondor we have several people. There are several people, of course, in Gondorian history, especially uh, among the stewards, um, who. Uh, are named after famous characters from Silmarillion times, you know, from the ancient legends of old. Um, the, and uh, Turin seems to have been a particular favorite of theirs, right? There's, uh, uh, there's a couple people named after Turin, somewhat surprisingly, you might almost say, but uh, he was a favorite. So that somebody in Gondor, a captain of Gondor, would be named after, you know, a, uh, a, a, a memorable but minor character in the Turin story, Totally, totally tracks there. Okay, so, um, Sador, yeah, sorry, I'm so busy thinking of the illusion, I didn't even pay attention to the text, right? Okay, others lead an expedition into Mordor. While you were not obligated, I ask you to join the company. Sure, yeah. Willing to brave the Plateau of Gordora? Pfft, absolutely willing to brave it. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? I mean, other than repeated and grisly death. Uh, but I'm willing to risk that, Mithron, dear because I'm tough. So um, this, by the way, is one of the things I've been looking forward to most. Uh, I've been looking forward to seeing the architecture, but I've also been really looking forward to seeing what they do with the storyline. I, I mean, of course, it's in the books that uh, Aragorn sends folks into Mordor, um, but it says very, very little about what happens there. So I'm uh, very excited to see the specifics of how the plots develop here um, in the epic quest line. All right, yep, totally willing, Mithrandir, to go in. So talk to Sador. Is your other quest, Mithrandir, is that, a, is that the epic quest? Yes, it is. Where we are, chapter... The evil he stirred to wakefulness persists. One? Chapter one. Um, okay. Uh, right. Uh, sorry, can you guys can you guys hear the, the music okay? You're getting the game sounds, right? They're saying sure. the game music is too loud, actually. The game music is too loud? Okay, sorry, mm -hmm. my volume must be down. Hang on. I, I've been having this issue where the game keeps resetting all of my settings all the time. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, your music volume is way to heck up there. Oh, yeah, the, but, the, but the master volume is down to 0.05. Um, I... 
I want because I want to balance it with the other things. I want the music to be audible, but not because uh, I want to get the atmosphere as I walk into Mordor. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to be so loud you can't hear me. Is it okay? Is it good? I can't hear it because I'm hearing you here. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So okay, I'm trying to. My text is tiny. This is chapter one. What volume is this? This is his own separate volume. It's not numbered? It's not like volume five or something? No. They they renumbered it. Huh. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, all right. This is a quiet part of the music. It's probably, I probably should not have turned it up there. <laughs> I'll just leave it down to where I had it. Okay. All right. Great. Okay, so um, chapter 1.1. 1. 1. Here we are. Okay, so Sauron has been defeated, but that is not the end of the evil he stirred into wakefulness, Wigand. Who can say what lies hidden beneath the shroud that covers Gorgoroth, beyond the wreckage of the Black Gate? The Dark Lord was a master of foul sorceries, and from the height of Barad-dûr he set many terrible plans into motion. I cannot believe that every one ended when he did. Adventurers have already begun taking hesitant steps through the ruin of the gate. Let us join them, and I will take their measure. The dangers that await in Mordor will be too great for some of them, I warrant. Let's hope that Wigan is not one of them. Okay. Chapter 1.1, 1. 1, Beyond the Black Gate. So here it comes. Are we ready? We're approaching the Black Gate. I'm about to enter Mordor. Not for the first time. I've been here as a sightseer. But now I'm here meaning business. Okay. I am preparing. There we are. To walk into Mordor. That's it. Okay, so. Looking up at the walls as I go by. Oh, there's the gate. Lying twisted down on the side over there. Oh, and here's here comes the... Watchers. Yeah. Interesting that those statues are still standing. The other one's still there? Less so. Yeah. Okay, so that one's broken. So it, it looks like their power has been definitively broken. That's less obvious on this side. Experiencing no dread yet. Right? Yeah, no, I'm at neutral. Okay. Passing through the gateway. So far, still alive. Okay. <laughs> the air looks like you had an Oregon a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I believe it. I love the sky. So, you know, Gandalf just described you know, the shadow, like the pall of Sauron that was still hanging over Mordor. Um, but of course, you, you see it's breaking up, right? You can still, this is post-battle, right? The the effects, you can see the air is moving up there, right? And that it's it's starting to, you can see a little bit of open sky over there, but um, still, and then of course, right over the mountain, it's still pretty dark. Love how, I don't know if that's the mountain. Uh, no, that's a closer little hill, but it looks like the mountain in the distance. Maybe uh, the uh, orange sort of smoke up in front here was sort of suggesting it to me. Okay. Am I in the middle of the gate now? I am, aren't I? Yeah, these, this was the very gate. I am passing the black gate even now. What does the map look like? Ooh, it's the big Mordor map. Yeah. Show me Kirith Gorgor. Can I? No? Is there a thing? No. There's not a close-up? That's fine. It's okay. This is more map than I deserve. I love the Mordor map. So much to look at. Okay. Kirith Gorgor. There we go. Down to Durthang and Eisenmouth. 
I remember how confused I used to get about the eyes and mouth. I was like, isn't the eyes and mouth in Western Rohan? But it's just not in Western Rohan. It has nothing to do with the eyes and... Uh, took me a long time to not be confused. I'm like, eyes and mouth. Okay. Love the effect of the flames reflected on the bottom of the smoke. Okay. But we can run now. Having walked into Mordor, we're not going to walk the whole time because that would take too long. So, okay. Oh, look, it's the Merry Band. Fortunately, not the totally inept Merry Band. They're off preparing to organize weddings, I think. Rogren! No way! Get out. Nice. Sorry, Rogren is the. So, um, the, um,. The dude named Rog in the Fall of Gondolin. If you read the original Fall of Gondolin from the Book of Lost Tales, it's also in the Fall of Gondolin text that Christopher published, the last thing Christopher published um, before he died. Uh, the So the, the, the like awesome dude with the huge hammer whose name is Rog, uh, whom I just love. He's one of my favorite characters in the Fall of Gondolin, second only to Ecthelion, who is just the best. So um, anyway, uh, Rog, favorite character of mine, but Tolkien later on in his career, because, you know, his languages had shifted so much. The the name, the word Rog just no longer worked at all. So he like, kind of didn't like it anymore, but he never really got around to revising the story. So when we decided in, in Silmarillion Film Project to include the character of Rog, we had to alter his name to make it fit like Tolkien wanted it to fit. And Rogrin is what we named him. Um Okay, all right, so there's Sador with two good feet. So there we are. And we've got, so who we've got? We've got Rogren, who appears to be a Gondorian soldier, maybe from the south of Gondor. We've got Anoth. Who are you, dude? What is that device on your shield? This is what comes of going so swiftly through Gondor. I can't, I don't remember, I don't, I don't, I don't place that symbol. And we've got, all right, uh, Hartholin, okay. Hartholin, great. Really nice outfit. You're probably, I wonder where she's from. She's very old. Oh, yeah? Okay. And then Sador. Nice beer, Sador. And Covidil, what, she looks like a barmaid. I mean, is she is she come out to serve drinks? I mean, like she's not really dressed for Mordor. People are worried that I didn't have enough armor. This lady is uh, going to be in some serious trouble. All right. What do you say, Gandalf? Love the eyebrows, by the way, Mithrond. You're still rocking the gray eyebrows. Right? That's fine. It uh, doesn't make you look younger, though, Gandalf. Gotta tell you. Do these adventurers think the fall of Sauron emptied his land of evil? It is as I thought. Some few of these adventurers are made of stern stuff, but most of them are not prepared for the dangers that await him. Wait them. Right, do they think the fall of Sauron has emptied his land of evil? Aye, they believe none remain to guard his treasures, and they hope to have the picking of his coffers. But I must urge coffin, caution. Many of these artifacts that might be found within Mordor will be wholly evil or corrupted beyond any use by good folk. Word to the wise. Corrupted artifacts. Most of these adventurers do not know the first thing about dealing with such fell entrapments. Well, count me among those. Speak to them and try to dissuade them from such hasty courses, or at least give them these warnings so they will not blunder into their fates all unawares. After they're duly warned, you should journey ahead and see what foes await us in Udun. Look, too, for the forges where the weapons with which Sauron equipped his armies were made. The forges with which Sauron equipped his armies. Yeah. Forges of Sauron. Hey there, Sador. I think you are a side quest dude, but I will talk to you. There is much to be done. 
I cannot abandon my post here at the Black Gate. Aragorn has taxed me with keeping tally of those who went. So you're counting noses. That's your job. And passing what inter information we learned on to him. Yet there are affairs in Udun that must be looked after which go unattended. Well, normally... Tell you what, you just hang out here, Sador, and my little friend Grifflet will be along soon. So, uh, Hartheline, we are here with you. What do you have to Can say? Can Sauron truly be gone from Mordor? You don't believe it, huh? I disrespect the warning of Mithrandir. I respect it, sorry. I respect the warning of Mithrandir, but I do not need it. For I am Hartheline, and this is not my first adventure in the Black Land. I fought at the side of High King Gilgalad. No way, get out, during the Battle of Daggerlad. And I know well the subtleties of Mordor. Many of my friends fell before the Black Gate, and many others met their ends on the slopes of Orodruin. I wish to pay my respects to those who fell long ago, and I have one other purpose beyond that. Seems fair, Hartheline. I can't argue with that. I have returned to Mordor with an abundance of caution, for I disbelieve that Sauron can truly be gone. Have we not heard this tale before? I desire to see proof with my own eyes, for he is a master of trickery and deceit, and has escaped death time and again. What is different now? Never mind. You're right. Let's check. I welcome your assistance. We will need to rely upon our friends when we journey in the realm of Sauron, whether he be truly dead or no. Interesting. A skeptical elf. You have met her before. Uh, in, the, the high, right, in the the high elf uh, intro? Yep. Was guessing. Okay, Covadil. The rather unfortunately named in retrospect Covadil. I can't hear the voiceover. I need... Less of this and less of everything. See, I had these adjusted to just where I like them and then they get reset every time. Turn this down. Turn this up. So I can hear the voiceover better. I dislike not being able to hear the voiceover. Okay, let's try that. I know you, or rather I have heard tales of the many deeds you have performed, and to a scholar that feels like much the same thing. Hey, one scholar to another. Uh, my name is Covadil, and I am a scholar from the House of Lore in Minas Tirith. My master sent me to acquire artifacts and knowledge that might be found in Osgiliath following its recapture. But that seemed a bit dull, a bit on the dull side for me. Acquiring artifacts found in Osgiliath is too dull. Right, okay. I may have gotten a little carried away, but I challenge you to describe a more likely place to find artifacts and knowledge than the land of Mordor, which has remained closed to us for so long. It sounds like, you know, the restricted section of the library or something. Um, I can't do it. Well, I can't describe a more likely place to find artifacts. Okay. Sure I can. You give Covadil the warning of Mithrandir and she smiles eagerly. Oh yes, I will not take anything we find in there for granted. Physically I will take it, of course, pick it up and carry it gently and carefully so as to protect anyone else from harm and bring it back to the Houses of Lore for study. Thank you for the warning. Very useful things to have, warnings. Folks are always, folk are always giving me warnings for some reason or another. I think it makes them feel better. Well, okay, so you are just as impractical as your gear suggests. Okay, awesomely named Rogren. The Vale of Udun lies ahead, and its treasures are ready for the taking. Okay. I am Rogren, and I am a soldier of Gondor. I fought on the Pelennor before the Black Gate, and now I am prepared to seize the spoils of war from the clutches of the vile orcs who fought for Sauron. They say he is dead, and I believe it. I was fighting at the base of one of the slag hills when the Mountain of Fire shook all of Mordor, and I felt that blast in my very bones. The Dark Lord was much nearer to the mountain than that. Perhaps on its very slope, and not even he could survive that. What, the earthquake? You just think he dropped dead on account of the earthquake? It is only right that Gondor reaps the rewards of victory. You tell Rogren of Mithrandir's warning and stuff. I know dark magic when I see it, and I will not go near anything of that sort. I want gold and silver and gems. Is that too much to ask? Those are the spoils I understand, and those are the spoils I seek. The wizard need not worry on my account. Good, I'm glad everyone is... Warning people always seems like uh, time well spent. Dull Amroth shield, is it? You don't, 
know a certain fishmonger, do you? It is an honor to meet you. I have heard tell of your great deeds. Oh, shucks. I would appreciate your help and your guidance in Mordor if you would provide it, for I have a task of my own I wish to undertake. All right. I am called Enoth, and I'm a ranger of Athelion. Okay, no, all right, ranger of Athelion. I walk the woods for Faramir and will again if he commands it, but my heart urges me in another direction, and my feet would follow, for I am a descendant of the Throndrim, men of Gondor who dwelt within the bounds of Mordor and kept a watch on the evil that stirred there. Cool! There had to have been people like that. We know the people of Athelion left in much more recent memory, but... Um, of course there were people who lived in Mordor and, and kept the kept the borders. Excellent. Uh, the Throndrum built the great fortress of Durthond, the Black Shield, and from its high parapet they kept watch over Udun. I want this guy with me. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but in time the watch became less and their numbers dwindled, and then the Throndrum failed the Thondrum failed. I wish to honor their memory and take vengeance upon the creatures of Sauron that slew them. Will you aid me? I give you Anoth. I get you give Anoth the warning of Mithrandir. I do not care for treasure. All I seek is to honor the mem memory of the Thrandrim, for their blood runs in my veins. Okay, can I get um, Anoth and uh, uh, what's her name, Hartheleen, with me? And the r other two can kind of stay around. That's what I would be thinking. Uh, Mith do I need to? No, Mithrandir doesn't need to know. He already is pretty confident into what's going to happen. So fine. I'm going to... I am now preparing to defeat foes. Looking for my first foes in Mordor. Looking forward to something strange and unpleasant happening to my person at almost any time. So, so far, we're looking at... All right, that's interesting. The stripy, you know, sort of striated stonework. Looking at the detail work, right? These like bits in the corners here. That's looking like Gondorian work for me. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna start with a with a, a running. Well, no, maybe not, because that over here. I think that's not. I'm trying to figure what I'm trying to identify. I'm trying to identify the archaeological layers. It's so obvious on the Towers of the Teeth, but here, that's not typical Gondorian stone. So maybe this is all built by Mordor. I wanted to see if I can identify what the what the uh, Thondrim um, built. Love that storyline. Hope we run into that guy. You know, alive and stuff. Mario, you died every 15 minutes or so your first few hours in Mordor. We'll see. One thing I'm, I'm going to try not to do, I'm going to not get greedy at first. Okay, now see this. Oh, looky there. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. It looks like... It looks like the white tree underneath... Then with the eye super, the cat slit eye superimposed on it. Okay. Yeah, no, I've heard that I need some like light stuff to uh, stand against the darkness and everything, but um, I'm just hoping I'm going to find whatever I need. What is that? Fell machines. Oh, they're pistons turning around. That's abominable. What devilry is at work over there? Oh, but look at that architecture. Oh, it's the classic Mordor overlay. You can tell from here. See the gray stone? That, that like, textured gray stone? Um, that, again, classic, classic Gondorian stonework with the evil trim. Right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that's wonderful. Just love that. So let's see. Um, what am I looking at? Where is this? It's just like Gorgoroth you, town. You can click on the word Udun on the map and it will explain that for you. Oh, look, here we are. I just had to cross the border, I guess. Okay, that. so that's Mornaur I'm looking at then? 
Or Dorthang. No, that's closer. That's up here that I'm looking at. Probably. Yeah, yeah that is Dorthang. That is Dorthang. The b big one on the hill. Okay. Mm -hmm. The big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Is That's what he called the Black Shield? Dorthang? Dorthand. Dorthand, of course, naturally. Right. Oh, see, look at that. Look at the light of the sunset. It is sunset, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Afternoon, yep. The light of the, uh, the, uh, the, the sunset. So you've got the, like, dark shadows of Mordor, but, you know, being made a, a beautiful pink on the underside from the, the sun as it descends over Gondor to the, to the west. That's really nice. Well, so far, Udun is pretty short of foes. I assume I won't always have that problem, but why don't I come over here and, oh, look, the stable master already is my friend. Hey, look, it's Amir. Hey, Amir. Gondor's eyes and Gondor's swords in this place. Right. Okay. So, Mr. Stablemaster is the Stablemaster of Udun Foothold. I can go back to the Slag Hills. Great. I can go to the ruins of Dingarth. Okay. I might want to do that. And Mag Ashtu. Not sure I want to do that. I'm hard to actually not spit uh, when saying many of the black speech words. I'm going to go ahead and milestone from here. What's this other milestone I have? Slag Hills. Yeah, who needs that? So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to not miss it. Hang on. Stop. Wicket, would you please behave? Okay. Here we are. We're going to bind. There we are. Okay. All right. So what is this guy saying? He's not to leave this path, even if we come and get him. Um, all right. Oh. Look at what the quartermasters are standing in front of. Hmm. It's the pistons. What are they pumping in there? Do I want to know? I can't know. They're just evil pistons. I mean, you can tell on account of being pistons. Almost all pistons are evil. Which I think is not too far from the truth. Okay, sorry, just looking around here. Okay. All right, so, um, but we got no epic quests here. There's you a. You want to talk to this Master Smith over here? You're going to pick up something that you're going to need. Master Smith, you say? The one, Narf, Narthafron, that I'm standing next to. Where are all these elves coming from? Now, I recognize their breastplates. Uh, those are elves of uh, of Rivendell. I mean, we saw the same design up around there. What are they doing here? Where do they all come from? Uh-oh. Why am I... I'm purple. I seem to be emanating purple. That's That can't be good. Yeah, that's the new game mechanic. Okay, so it looks like... Wigand has extremely dubious body odor emanating from him. Um, of a sort, yeah. You know. If you look under your vitals in the upper left corner, you're going to see a new oh, bar. Oh, that's of... where that is. I was, I was, I'm like, mm -hmm. shouldn't there be something? Okay. If oh, you my... hover over it, oh, it give, looks even it'll... worse from the front. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. awful. It'll give you a tool tip. Um, I'm, I'm just going to give you a lore filled piece of advice. Okay. Uh, follow Gandalf's warning to Thorne and company before he sends them into Mirkwood. Don't leave the path. Um, the further away you go, the more trouble you're going to get into because that. Because of the like the reason I'm on I'm like on fire here. I yeah. seem to be mm -hmm. smoldering. That's okay. a debuff. So the further away from the path you get, the debuff gets stronger. You become weaker. 
I get to do more work, which is fine. <laughs> okay, so we've got Light of Arendel 0, Shadow of Mordor 20. This sounds like a like a football score. Effective Shadow 20. So it's like net shadow. Got it. Okay, mm -hmm. right. Okay, and this is the slider. So we can put the yeah. slider over in the... So purple is bad. Okay. Yeah, purple bad, white is good. Uh, and as you acquire gear that has Light of Arendel on it, that slider will move toward the white or the white. It'll basically show yeah. you that you're not being debuffed anymore. Okay. Part of your problem is you won't be able to use any of the gear for two levels. <laughs> right. No problem. Who needs it? I, I mean, I think, I think, I uh, think, right. When I'm, when I'm lower level is obviously when I need it least. Right. So, uh, so that should be fine. Um, where does it register a debuff? I mean, I see the thing, but I don't see it like normally with, um, you know, with dread, for instance, how I can see the, you know, the orange in my, you know, bars over there, but I'm not seeing anything like that. So where does it, it's just, you that don't see it. That thing you see on you is the debuff. And also if you get, if it's really bad, it'll show up on the borders of your window, like that ice you love so much in World of War. <gasps> oh, the ice. Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm it looking be forward so to that. Cool. So experimentally, I'll see what I can do about exploring there. Okay. Uh, so right now, and there should be a debuff icon right next to your right. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's what that's what I'm seeing now. Okay, negative ten percent incoming healing, plus twenty incoming damage, no minus ten outgoing damage. Okay, that's fairly crippling. So fine. Let's see, Master Smith named uh, Narthavron. Great. Did you feel the change in the wind upon crossing the Black Gate? Everything in this accursed land is tainted. The earth, the water, even the air. All right, I can buy that. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Narvathron, Master Smith of the Noldor. Really? Fun. I was present when the last alliance broke into this book. All of the alumni are returning. It's like reunion weekend in Mordor. And defeated Sauron's army. I was filled with sorrow and anger, seeing the atrocities they had that had, they had completed, committed here, and have made it my life's work to find a way to purge the corruption. I now believe I have the right tool to achieve this. I have recovered one of the adamants of old, the flame of Ancalamir. Okay. It will unravel many items throughout Middle-earth into different components, which I have named embers of enchantment, figments of splendor, and motes of enchantment. Really? We're going back to enchantment? Embers of enchantment? Fine. Figments of splendor. Okay, I like that one quite a bit. But motes should be motes of something else. Motes of marvel. Clearly, it should be motes of marvel. I'm going to call it that, uh, uh, Narvathron, because your nomenclature really failed you like third time was just not a charm, so to speak. So um, motes of marvel, not enchantment again. So we'll, we're okay. Okay. Uh, what do I think? I think that's... Again, two out of three. I thought those names might help bring a little more light into this dark place. F tracking with you. Okay, so you break the objects down. Wait, you break the items into the embers, the figments, and the motes. Right. Okay. Uh, then I'm able to use some of those components to fashion extraordinary equipment. Sounds like a plan. I have a feeling you will be instrumental in the conquest of Gorgoroth. Well, I'd like to think so. And as such, we'll be encountering many of these special items in your travels. You have a proposition. Okay, I will allow you use of the flame. One of the adamants. Okay. My assistants, the high enchanters, will help you. Uh, you need only touch one of these objects to the flame, and it will be reduced to one of these components. Okay, I think I'm tracking with you. I'm so confused. No, I'm good. I'm good. I believe that dwarf over there has been scavenging through the orc's forges. Perhaps he is willing to let go of something for this purpose. So I find a piece of equipment, like the kind of equipment that Gandalf said was probably evil and cursed, and I touch it with the flame of Ancalamir, and when I touch it with the flame of Ancalamir, it is rendered down, or um, no way, unraveled. It is unraveled into its different components, uh, embers of enchantment, figments of splendor, and motes of marvel. So good. Um, all right. Uh, thank you, Narvathron. Um, there's a dwarf. 
Uh, where? I have to purchase it? Oh, I see. So when you say you're going to lend it to me, you mean if the price is right? One of the high enchanters. Yeah, right next to him. Oh. All right. Okay. Hey there, Elf Smith. Let me guess. You were like Celebrimbor's third cousin? Oh, no. No. Where's, so is, is the barter item? Yeah, browse the shop, actually. Okay, I'm Just browsing. something you what buy for a little need? bit of silver. Okay, that's fine. What do we got here? We're doing, um, there is the Flame of Uncalamir. Wow, they're having a, 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 does she have a sale on the Flame of Uncalamir? Can I get a, a discount? See, unlike the Silithair of old, the adamants of Uncalamir were used for unraveling the enchantments from pieces of equipment. The residue could then be used for fashioning items of improved quality. Later on, these, this residue would be given reasonable but ultimately disappointing names by Narvathron the Master Smith. Okay. I'm going to order up, I'm going to swagger up to the bar and order the Flame of Uncalamir, or a Flame of Uncalamir. I guess they're mass produced. Okay. Ooh, Ash of Gorgoroth. Great. The Flame of Uncalamir allows me to convert unwanted Gorgoroth equipment. Okay. To the Ash of Gorgoroth, which can be traded. They want the Ash, which is bad. Because that's the evil, so I extract the evilness, which is what Gandalf was... Okay. Just trying to follow. Just trying to follow. Right-click on the flame to use it. All right. Can I, can I, can I quick bar that? Um, I have never done so. I've okay, but I have to use it on other items in my inventory anyway, right? So. Right. Okay, right, okay. But only certain items will let you use it, so... Sure. Got it. Okay. All right. Um, oh, right. So it'll pop up a mini thing, probably. Got it. Okay. And it'll reduce the ash. The flame can be purchased. It's an old tool tip, though. Okay. Oh, I see. <laughs> they never updated the tool tip. I'm going to have to tell them that. No worries. All right. Okay. High Enchanter, who probably used to be best friends with the next door neighbor of Celebrimbor. So, let's see. Where is this bad boy? There he is. The Flame of Uncalamir. Okay. Fantastic. So I'm going to put him down here. Notice um, I, 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 I sprung uh, for a uh, crafting carryall because I've pretty much decided that the crafting carryalls are like my favorite inventory item of all time. Uh, in Lotro, and so, you know, Grifflet got that one, um, and um, I just, uh, you know, I was like, Wigan needs one, so I splurged. Yeah, they are pretty cool. Oh, man. Life change. I mean, like, anything that enables uh, Pack Rat Hood to that extent is just entirely laudable in this Pack Rat's opinion. Um, okay. <laughs> I will never have to get rid of crafting items I never use again. All right, so I'm back on the path and still vaguely, but subtly and, to be perfectly frankly, fairly attractively purple. Um, but you I didn't complete the quest. I would like to complete the quest, however, so I should head back to Finoth Sharpwind, who is someone else entirely and not... The Ooh, oh, hang on. Wait. For just a second there, I kind of went a little purple. Ah, Kind of went a little purple, but it, it passed. It was probably... Oh, oh! Man, it keeps just flashing. That's cool. I'm a big fan. Okay, so where are we? Finoth Sharp Wind is over in this direction. Oh, he's hiding. He's hiding behind the crates because he's shy and he's... No, he's kneeling and we're looking at daggers. Pile of daggers, which don't look especially evil, but maybe it's just the perfidious evil that permeates apparently innocuous. This is how they get you, right? They're like, look, it's an innocent dagger, right? Finoth Sharpwind, am I right? Am I right? Yeah. 
We are dwarves, and the folk... Okay, the elf's right. Fine. I am seeking anything of value that might have been left behind. The orcs were churning out thousands of blades and armor pieces from these forges, but most of them are foul morgul steel. Nothing I want anything to do with, understandably. Take this dagger. It's worthless to you. Okay. Um, tell the elf he's better off leaving this sort of thing to the dwarves. What? IDing weapons? And the dagger crumbles. Oh, man. So... What do we have? It crumbled into... No, it's a Morgul steel dagger, but I thought it crumbled, but I, I guess it... Oh, wait, it's got a mote of enchantment. It's got No, it's got a mote of marvel. A mote of marvel, right? It disenchants into a mote of marvel. Okay. Well, I don't think I want to wield it, I'm fairly confident. So I should, I should disenchant it. All right, so what happens... All right. Okay. Just so it doesn't pop up a menu. Right. Fine. Boom. Okay. And those go in my wallet. I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. Right on. Oh my goodness! I've got three hundred and sixty-one moats. No, I got one moat. Where did the other three hundred and sixty come from? I got all these figments of splendor. Look at this. Where did they come from? I just rendered down that dagger for a single moat. And, and here I was carrying around 360 evil, crumbly, morgul daggers worth of moat? You can get that currency in other game activities. Must have done. Okay. Probably the wedding. Most likely. Yeah, probably the wedding. Yeah. Okay, Narvathron. Uh, Narvathron. What do you say? Yeah, no, you. What do you. What do you say? The flame of Uncalamir is performed as expected. Oh, yeah. No, it works, works like a charm. In your travels, should you find equipment for which you have no use, I ask that you destroy it with the flame and give the results to one of my assistants. They will reward you with powerful items. Okay. Free from foulness. Well, I happen to apparently have already accrued a sizable number of moats uh, and figments. Uh, fewer, um, embers, however, so vendor dealing in motes of enchantment and figments of splendor. So I guess I'm, I'll go to you, keeper of, oh, keeper of mysteries. Hey, you look human. You look human. You're not an elf. Who made you the keeper of mysteries? I mean, I don't grudge you. I'm a little jealous, but it's cool that you got made the keeper of mysteries. I'm just wondering how you came by the job. I mean, did they publish, po you know, post it publicly? Because I would have appreciated the chance to apply. Okay, what do I need? I've got, um, I don't have enough for an engraved pauldron of the abyss. Now that sounds cool. The question is, what? okay, buttressed chest plate of the abyss. Totally thought that said buttered chest plate of the abyss, which I was going to say, you know... They can do things how they like in the abyss, I suppose. Let's um, let's see. What what is it? Hmm. Okay. It looks a little bit less buttressed than I was expecting, to be perfectly frank. Um. Yeah, I. It looks kind of like a like a little off the shoulder piece, like a. You know, Wigan is still is it's like if he weren't wearing his breastplate underneath, he'd be showing some cleavage there. You know, maybe a little manly chest hair puffing out the top there. I don't uh that's a surprising model, but I guess it's all part of it. Uh okay. Well that's not what I expected abyssal armor to look like. I guess it's probably armor built to resist the abyss rather than built in the abyss. But that's fine. So what kind of um, item level 337? So at some point in the vaguely Helm's Deep-ish area, the item levels like achieved some kind of escape velocity. They used to be kind of close to like your actual level. And then at some point there became some more complicated mathematical ratio, which to be perfectly honest with you, I've never been able to follow. But it seems to be 
uh, it seems to be going like, I don't know, it's going to asymptote at some point, right? It's, it's, it's proceeding exponentially so that I assume by the time I get to Northern Mirkwood, I'm going to be finding item levels of like, you know, 850 or something like that. Not um, that bad. No. But, uh, anyway, I just, I don't understand, but it's okay. It looks impressive. Um, and these are, subst holy cow. These gauntlets are twice as much armor as my Pelinor gauntlets? Yikes. Okay, yeah, I might want to upgrade as soon as I can, but I, I'm not going to be able to. Holy cow, these are huge. 1,700. I've got to find 1,400 more per one? Yikes, that's a lot of daggers. Okay, no problem. Bearing in mind you're going to get quest rewards that will obviate the need for... Th the the mechanic for this is intended to help you fill in the blanks for gear you don't get as quest right. drops. Okay. And, you know. No, I'm just enjoying looking at things here. Um, mm -hmm. What are, what are the, what are, can I just see what the wormy trousers look like? Because trousers of the worm, right? I mean, who's not curious? Okay, kind of scaly, right? A little bit scaly. Uh, I can't really. Oh, wow. Okay, kind of tight, form-fitting, sort of like tight leather pants, except in the dragon scale mode. They're kind of quilted to me. Yeah, they do look a little quilted. I was thinking the same, but, um, you know, well, Wigan is kind of rocking that look, so we'll see what happens. But um, a statue of Sauron? Who wants a statue of Sauron? Is Unless it's a statue of Sauron in a big shadowy thing in the sky and then getting blown away, that I could... And if it's especially... If you could put it in your yard, right? This is what I want. I want a baradur for my yard, which every once in a while, like every couple minutes, like a shadow of Sauron looms up out and dominates the sky and then gets blown away, right? That, that is the yard fixture I want. And... Um, a fell goat now. Okay. A Do you remember the fell goats from uh, Ed and Wife? Are they the same as the so. demon goats? I think so. Okay. Well, you know, um, so long as a goat is sufficiently fell, I suppose it could guard my property. Um, I could afford one set of what? I can even. Oh, these are just cosmetic, though. Yeah. Anything with figments of splendor or cosmetic only. Oh, so the figments are cosmetic. Okay. Yeah, embers and moats will actually get you gear right to on. have stats on them. Good to know. All right. I am so down with this new mechanic. I feel that I have mastered everything. And now it's time to find my first foes. Okay. Um... This looks like a faux kind of place. Not like F-A-U-X. It looks like a perfectly real place, but I mean a place where folks, like I saw the pelvis fire from a distance, right? And I'm like, anywhere that's still, I mean, obviously nobody's tended this pelvis fire in a while. It's time to, though the pelvises still look fresh. I was going to say it's time to throw on some new pelvises, but, um, or pelvi, uh, but, uh, the pelvises are fine. They just need a few more new logs. Um, still nothing in the way of foes, but those enormous spiky turbines or I have no idea what they are or what they're doing exactly. Wait, there's something dripping. It looks like lava. It's like a cement mixer. That's what it is. It's a cement mixer, right? That you're rolling around to keep it from setting so that they've got the lava in there, which is at risk of cooling. So they, it's still cool enough. It's not being heated. Rolling it around isn't going to stop it cooling. It's just going to cool it in an even... It's going to coat the inside. Of, never mind. Far be it from me to try to tell orc engineers their job. Pelvis? Arjush, is that the actual plural of pelvis? Is pelvis? I can totally believe it. 
tell these. Yeah. Like Oasis. Well, uh, to use the more anatomically proximate parallel, like testis, right? Um, so, okay, that's fine. Um, pelvis, got it. Okay. Who's this? Here we go. Look, I think I have detected a foe. Wait, who's he? He's just a forge worker. Is he? Is he really a foe? Yeah, I guess he is. Excuse me. Um, you're like, you're a dwarf. Are you hostile and stuff? You are. Okay. Oh, yeah. No. Okay. Well, come over here and say that to my face. I mean, you were saying it to my face, but you were saying it like kind of far away from my face. So that's what I mean is, you know, a little closer in, if you wouldn't mind saying it. This is time consuming and yet so far not deeply life threatening in a one on one environment. Um, I think we should be able to handle this. You're doing fine there. Not you, forge worker. But I don't know what... Was there even a forge there? Were you just like a lonely, like, person who wishes he were working on a forge? Do I have to loot your corpse manually? I do not. Okay. Gear works. Carrying strange machine parts. Okay, I'm going to accept this, but I'm not going to actually go out of my way for this because that's a side quest in Wigand. Focused eye on the prize at all times. I was just looking for foes, which is what I am supposed to do next in my epic quest. Little did I know that the first foe I meet would have something to do with gears and crankshafts, though having walked through and seen the giant pistons, I shouldn't honestly be surprised. Um... The smoke is changing colors. That can't be good. It was a lovely orange back there with the fires underneath it. Looked real nice. Um, almost like the lava, like, inverted, right? Instead of the lava down below and the ash coming up, it was like lava ash. I really kind of like that. Now it's a sickly green. Looks vaguely wraithy, you know, like the wraith, uh, the wraith, uh, the, the white, yeah, the, the, the wraith, the white factories. That's what I mean. Um, uh, who's this guy? Udun Hammerer. I suppose that means like he's a hammerer from Udun. Like, I'm a hammerer by trade, uh, and I come from Udun, rather than someone who hammers Udun itself, right? Whereas this guy is just a forge worker. He really is more nondescript. And there's a goblin forge worker, so they come in all kinds of sizes. Maybe I don't start with the big one. Maybe I start with the little one. Can I attract you from here? No, no, not quite yet. Let's see. Okay. There we go. Yeah, now you come over here, and we'll have a discussion. Just me and the little goblin who doesn't look all that dangerous. Of course, they never do until they chop you off the knees. Is he going to carry on posthumously screaming after I take him down is the question I can't help but ask myself, even though that sounds like a morbid and even sadistic question. But you know what I mean, how goblins do. It's always a little bit funny. Not, well, it is. I can't help it. Um, okay, and... And... Boom. Okay, so again, time consuming, but not so bad. Two out of two on foes. Great, now I see I'm being stealth healed, so we should be fine. In which case, I'm gonna be stealth healed. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for broke here. Hey guys! That's right, I'm talking to you. Oh, it's before you knocked me out, I was talking to you. I'm still talking to you, but uh Okay, yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's do this, you guys. Boom, and oh, hey, come on, I was just about to shout at you. That's it, that's what I'm talking about right there. So now, we're gonna hit you with some group action. 
Uh, can I get yet? Yeah, I'm gonna make sure I'm in range. Do a little bit more shouting. Some whirling around in circles. Oh, that always looks so deft. Absolutely. Okay. I am sure this would have been going splendidly if I had no assistance of any kind. Um, oh, look at that! Swirling while in midair. Get over here. Say that to me in this direction, huh? That's right. I guess it's just you and me. We lost your little friend at some point. You're just picking up something and throwing it at me? Oh, come on. Seriously, you're stunning me with... Boom! Okay. All right. So... Great. Four. Four foes. Ah. Ah, okay. Uh, smoke stacks. Let me just hang on a sec. Oh, no. We've got stir self stirring vats. The technology is going from bad to worse. I just want to look at the stonework on this smoke stack because if there's anything that says Mordor, it's smoke stacks uh, and slag heaps. Slag heaps and smoke stacks. Um, interesting how they're going with the technology thing, with the, uh, the, the machines here. Uh, inside Mordor, it's the first and most notable feature. I better return to the path before I get all purpley, but my purple's still holding strong, so that's good. And we're working our way towards level 104. Is that, does this bird count as a foe? A gore crow? Oh, really? Oh, that's interesting. A gore crow, which is in fact a foe. And he comes, a com oh, look at this, and Captains, I've got a bunch of friends over here, so let's do that. Okay. Yes, it's a party now. Okay. Now, come on. Dis the disarming? Let's not do the disarming. Okay, that's just... That's just... Okay, and then we'll shout some more. And then we'll do, I guess I'll just, I don't even know what that move actually is. Okay, right. We carry on. So these are at least now orcs and goblins, I guess, that I'm fighting against. Um, they should be dropping relatively quickly. Oh, this one's the captain, so that's good. I better... Retarget him there. Okay. Okay. All right. So meanwhile, oh look, it's a pelvis bonfire. There we are. Yeah. So that's not good. That's it. The, though I have to say, the pelvis to firewood ratio is not as strong in the bonfire version. You'd think they would have heaped more pelvis. Yeah? Yeah? More pelvis in the fire, but no. No, just the still the four. Do they put the pelvis at the cardinal points, I wonder? No, but they've got the big skulls of, I dare not guess what, what creature. Ooh, Gorgoroth wood. Yeah. Requires doomfold forester crafting ability. Unfortunately, I don't think that Wigan is a Doomfeld scholar, Doomfold scholar. Uh, I must be. That must have been enough foes for me. I think I'm, I'm foe full. So now I'm searching for forges. Okay, forges. Any hints about forges there? No, we're not betraying the location of forges. Oh, there it is. It's just being blocked by the map. Blocked by the map. I know this is Udun, so I'll put this up here. Got it. All, got it all the way down to more an hour. Hey, no problem. I enjoy a field trip. So let's let's mount up. I'm going to mount up conservatively using my Gondor steed. And I'm just going to ride along, minding my own business on the path. And I'll look around a little bit. But that's, okay, a bridge with slats of metal over... You know, I don't know that I would have used screening uh, for the floor of my bridge, but um, 
I guess it assists with runoff, you know, if you're um, leaky. Uh, okay, now who's this guy? A Nurnhoth. Nurnhoth, huh? He looks like a dude. So you're part of the Hoth of Nurn, huh? And you're just gonna punch at me with your really bad comb over. You know, fr just from the front, if you don't move, it looks pretty good. But as soon as you turn to the side, it's you missed patches fairly significantly there. Um, okay, so the Nurn Hoth. So Hoth, uh, the Hoth suffix means host or horde. Um, so uh, the Nornhoth is like he's the, the horde of the people of Nurn um, by the Inland Sea of Nurn, I assume, you know, from down south. Um, in, oh, I didn't really want to look up your skirt. Thank you. Just, yeah. Okay, I mean, I know you were, like, dropping dead, so the posture you fell in could hardly help but be a, a touch awkward, but did you really have to make it awkward for both of us? Okay. Um... All right, we feed the smokestack from below. Does it do anything other than generate smoke? I guess it could. That could be a forge. But apparently that's not the forge I'm looking for. I'm looking for the forge, forges, plural, of Mornar, and those are not here. Ooh, a, a Gorgoroth artifact chest. Hang on a second. Let's just test a theory. I'm pretty sure I won't be able to do this. No. No, I won't. That's okay. Yep, that's what happens when you just dash in past your level. Oh, look, there's a slag scug, slag slug, slag slug. That's a surprisingly hard phrase to say. Um, ooh, what's that little... It's kind of like a yurt, but there's pelvis built into it. They just... Is it stone or is it mud? It looks kind of like a... No, it is stone. It looked like a kind of a... a mud anthill that was kind of slumped over, but it's a stone anthill that's kind of slumped over, but they've for some reason embedded bones in that, which must have been really hard to lay the bricks with that. Do they think they just like bashed it into it afterwards or oh, hang on, turned it around accidentally there, and there is the big fortress in front of me here I think, right? I think I'm facing... Du, uh, Durthong, yep, Durthong there. Okay. And, uh, great. All right. So we've still got a bunch of orcs and of the remaining humans. See, I would have followed Aragorn's example in giving them quarter, except, ooh, banner, a soot smudged page. Wait, that seems important. Picking up a page of paper. We believe it was in the Second Age, after Sauron came to Mordor. Really? That he set to work building an army to make war against the kingdoms of men and elves. Right. Yeah. How oh, fantastic. Pages of paper lying on the ground which cue voiceovers. What's not to like, I ask you? Okay, oh, hang on. I'm supposed to go down that road that the Enforcer is coming up. So, right? Is that, is that, no, I'm not right. Okay, I still have to go a little bit further on. And then take a right-hand turn at the next right. More pistons up on the side. All of this stuff. So that darker stone looks like it is Mordor stone. Hard to tell from here. Wow, that's a very impressively sinister-looking cabin. Ah, uh, cabin. Castle. I meant castle. It's kind of cabin-ish. I mean, it's like an evil cabin, right? Very evil and highly defensible cabin, but um, it looks, doesn't it look sinister? I mean, that with the row of orange lights and the spiky claws reaching up to the heavens like a, like a, like a desecrating hand. I like that. Better than the, simply the rings of spikes, right? The rings of spikes are just, to me, it looks like I'm not trying hard enough. You know, it's like I'm kind of committed to the concept of evil trim on my architecture, but I can't be bothered to shape like artistic claws, 
heading up to the sky. It's just like, I'm going to go Ring of Spikes, as if I'm trying to keep pigeons from landing on my tower. But it does successfully conceal what would otherwise, I don't doubt, be very attractive Gondorian architecture underneath. Now, I would like to get up there on the hill to see if possibly I could find out whether or not there were any Gondorian architecture, if that's just a Mordor addition later on, because of course it might well be. Um, whereas over there, you see, okay, the Gondorian city coming into clearer view. Oh man, look at those sinisterly rotating wheels. The next thing you know, we're going to see a we're going to see a, um, you know, an internal combustion engine, and then we're going to be in trouble. I just wanted to look at this um, banner. It's blowing in the wind, something awful. Uh, is that a castle with an eye, or is it a crown? I was trying to figure... From the side, look, okay, no, yeah, I see, oh, it's the black gate, right, okay, I see the Towers of the Teeth with the black gate in between and the eye up above it, right, 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 okay. So this is like the Gorgor, the, the, the Gorgor, you know, the Gorgoroth, uh, um, you know, the Kirith Gorgor flag, presumably, you know, from right inside the black gate, I'm guessing, okay, sure. That is easy enough to parse from an iconographic standpoint. Now... Interestingly, the Eye of Sauron on those flags is the same one we first see in the game in Amon Hen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That long ago. Um. Okay, so um, I I would probably have to be pretty thorough to actually find all the lost lore of Gorgoroth, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to have to, unfortunately, leave the Lost Lore of Gorgoroth to Grifflet, which is a shame. But he'll get there. I look forward to that, just like I look forward to identifying all the statues in Minas Tirith. Um, but... If you collect them all, um, it creates a housing item that you can then listen to later on. So you just have to find somebody who has them all. Okay. Well, you know, am I, am I, this is the, I'm on the right road. Yes, I am. Okay. All right. So... Um, just gonna... Right, I think I'm gonna go this way. C come on with me, Mr. Warrior. If I stay on this side, I should be able to... There we go. Let's come over here. Hang on, maybe this Gore Crow also? Yeah, there we go. No, he's just not into me, I guess. That's fine. I didn't want to fight him anyway. Okay... Oh, now he's joining the party. Sure, well, better late than never. Good to have you with us. So, all right, and there we go. Always enjoy fighting multiple enemies. There's just little that's more satisfying in the game than that. Okay. Oh, now the archer is joining in from behind me, which is slightly less fun. And here comes the slag heaver. Hang on, slag. No, I'm going the other way, slag heaver. Though that was a pretty deft move, right? To kind of. Oh, now you're stomping my hewer. That's just not nice. Not nice. Hey, archer, come with me. Come on, stick with me. Don't start shooting. Come on, come on. There you go. Coming along here. Okay, there we go. Oh, you've collected some friends. Oh, he's starting to shoot again. I hate it when they do that. Stop it. Okay, come on. Back over here. Never mind. You're just too annoying, Mr. Archer. Um, let us do this. Yeah, pay attention. Oh, okay. Well, maybe a little bit less attention next time. Let me get these guys out of your way, and I'll wrap it. Yeah, no worries. Right I got it. For that. We're good. Okay, so, anyway, as I was saying, Mr. Troll, I take exception to this. So, way to hurt a guardian. Okay, two archers standing on opposite sides like that are just... That's not okay. All right, and now, finally, this other guy... You, sir, are a vexation and a menace to peace of mind 
and okay there we go yikes all right fine it's fine we're all good so yeah four orange mobs that mo once you think is a little much well okay you know maybe yarning did that too bears are op too maybe okay let's see All right, we're heading up towards the fortress that I really want to go to. Is this Mornauer and not Durthung at all? No, I guess it's still Durthung up on the hill. Mornauer's a... down here in the valley. That's this stuff? No, there's a fork in the road. All right. Okay, sure. All right, boy, I still got a long ways to hoof it. So I guess I'll mount up again. And on my nice new steed of Gondor. Oh, getting a little purple. Just a little kind of blushed purple there for a moment. But that's okay. Forge worker there. Another member of the Nurnhoth. Not so interested in you. I'm just going to keep going. I'll kite these guys for a while because I still have a ways to go. Um, enforcers, I seem to have some embryonic quest for enforcers, but being as dedicated and focused as I am, I'm not going to pay much attention. Um, okay, hang on. I want to, as I get closer, can't quite make out the stone. I think it's evil stone. Um, I want to kite the warrior, not the archer. I love the texture on the mountains. It's interesting, you know, they make it less, you know, obsidian-like, so it doesn't look just exactly like Angmar, right? It looks rougher and ashier and more worn down. I, I, I really like the texture there. Am I in the right place? I am in the right place. Excellent. Okay. So we'll dismount here. Seriously? Yep. Oh, hang on. Fine. One thing about Mordor is mobs will aggro from a little bit further than you are and a little bit. Right. And they'll follow you longer than you're used to. We'll keep that in mind. Okay. What are we doing for uh, pending loot? Oh, yeah, we're fine. Ooh, I found a guardian drop. Nice. Let's get that thing right away. And a piece of doomfold sealed wax. What is it that's particularly doom-ridden about this wax? Was it made by particularly fated, ill-fated bees? Or is it the use to which the wax was put? Is it reused from a particularly ominous document? Just, I know Doomfold is like what it's called, but still it's, it gives me. all of the crafting items a, a, a real, uh, you know, character. So, all right. This is still trying to figure out. Again, that trim still looks Gondorian to me. It really does. But obviously not the same as the classic old Gondorian stone that we saw in the Towers of the Teeth. Yeah, there's definitely some filigree in mm -hmm. the trim work of the, the Which stone. you generally don't see in, you know. Yeah, as opposed to these, blood or, these bloody, humongous, you know, structure here exactly exactly i mean crude this rusty stuff that's what i expect these like random spiky fences with the occasional skull torch hanging from them that's the kind of thing. oh hey rogren did you find any treasure yet still alive right uh, not been overcome by the shadow how fared you on the journey into Udum? <laughs> it was fine 
You faced more foes than you believed you would, but I proved stronger than they. I took the weapon from one of the orcs I slew and noted its craftsmanship. You're supposed to render it down for moats. I would not have expected such a fine blade in the hands of one of one such as he. Perhaps he was a co commander. I thought you just wanted gold. Remember with the artifacts. Do the orcs organize their armies and fighting companies in the same fashion as the men of Gondor? Not exactly, I don't think. Okay, all right. What matters is he's dead and I am not, and I have come to the forges from which this sword may have been made. Let us ensure no more of its kind come forth. Push over some of the anvils. I'm going to go anvil tipping. That'll teach him. That'll slow down any production. They'll have to write the anvils, which, don't get me wrong, that would be a pretty serious pain. Okay. I feel like I'm just, like, pranking the armies here. A little bit, but uh, some new forged weapons. Looks kind of like a side quest to me. Um, render anvils difficult to use. <laughs> okay. Render them difficult to use. Sure. I can, I guess, do that. I'm looking. I don't see much in the way of anvils. Lots of open pits full of probably burning coals rather than lava, but it looks like lava. I'm going to go out. No, I can't go out. That's not a door. So I'm just going to go around. I'm going to continue going around until I get somewhere interesting. Okay. Um, ooh, a rusty chest. I can't open it, though. Serves me right. Um... You don't want it anyway. It's crafting mats for days. Oh, I see. Ooh. What's his body odor? He's orange. Is that affecting me? Does he... Does he? Is it contagious? Should I be... You know... Should I be wearing a mask or something? Oh, here we go. Oh, friends. sure. All the trolls. You know, it's... Let's make with all the trolls. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good. I came under this overhang, this overhang, specifically to avoid the trolls. But no good that was. Okay. Whoa, just knocked me back into the wall. Okay. All right, come on now. Here we go. Oh, stop with the knockback. That's just annoying. You're only making it worse for yourself. I don't know exactly how, but I trust that in some admittedly ill-defined way, it will be worse for you if you keep doing that. Just as a reflection of how vexed I am. I keep forgetting where my supposed alternate key is. Let me see. Does that actually work? Um, let me, never mind. I'll check that later. But I'm not being knocked back all the place. I love it when I pull out my bow in midair while I'm flying. Uh, that makes me feel really studly. I'm not going to pretend. Okay. Um, right. I'm trying to position myself so that you knock me back against, you know, a fixed surface. Did the other one die? Or did he just yep, wander off? He's down. Okay. That's good. The Udun Hammerer. For a second, I looked up there and in the corner of my eye, because I'm, you know, busy, and I saw I thought it said I thought it said Union Hammerer. You know, like he's uh, a member of the Hammerer's Union. Which I mean he probably is. Right? They probably do have a union here in Udun. Oh, see, yeah, you throw a boulder at me from point-blank range, and what happens? Nothing. That's precisely what happens. Okay. All right. Um, yikes. So. Oh, man. All right, I'm just, I'm going to accept this, too, but I'll probably, there's a page which I might as well reward myself by reading. Sauron returned, and once again the forges blazed. 
Great stockpiles of orc arms were smithied, but the old alloys and dark enchantments were remembered too. They were remembered, huh? They bethought them of wicked sorceries and such. Anvil tipping! Boom. I, that's not the direction I was pushing it. Sorry, I'll try to push the other one the right way. Here we go. Anvil tipping in this direction. Watch where you put your hands. It's spiky. Okay, and there you go, Wigand. You got it together. Push. Don't pull in with your legs, not your back. Okay. No chests. I'm fine with that. I've got to frighten somebody. Somebody's frightened. Probably not friendly, though. You're a frightened dwarf. Oh, yeah. You are friendly. But you start a side quest. Just just hang on until Griffith comes. I'm going to have to fight you anyway, so let's just do this. Okay, guys? Right. Line up in an orderly queue. Okay. Here's me remembering to heal myself because I am... Whoa! Look at that. There's another friend. Okay. All right. So... This is efficient. That's good. I like efficiency. That's why I'm running yellow line. <laughs> Look at that. Clicking on myself, which is a little bit narcissistic in the middle of the battle. Okay. So. That other dwarf should be just about done, I would think. Okay. Alright, so that clears up these anvils for pushing. And with the legs, don't try to torque it sideways. You're definitely going to slip a disc if you keep doing that, Wigand. Come on, be sensible. Yeah, okay. I would have guessed wrong which direction you were going to tip that, Wigan, so it's just as well, I suppose. Okay, and what's happening? Uh, more anvils. How many? I still need another anvil? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go, I guess, over here. There's one. And over we go. Okay, great. Made it difficult to use. <laughs> That's a little awkward. <laughs> you could do a better verb than that, right? Like uh, incapacitated or maybe um, discommoded. That's what I do. Discommoded a more an hour anvil. That's what I want to do. I want to discommode all their anvils with great prejudice. While many flee before the coming Gondorian army, some small number of Uduns, forge workers and men from distant lands may take the knee and surrender themselves. They're going to take a knee? Well, like an NFL player during the national anthem? Though These few should be afforded the mercy and respect of the free peoples. Just take a knee. Bend the knee? Is better the, to take a knee is a different thing. That's football. That's football. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's why I was. That's why I immediately was thinking about that. Um, or like like during practice, right? He says take a knee, and you kneel down so the people behind you can see and hear, right? Yeah, it's. Yeah, or bend you take a knee to you know take the snap and then you know run out the clock. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, running the victory formation. Um, okay. Maybe that's what they're doing. It's the reverse victory formation. It's the defeat formation. That's what they're anticipating. Okay. These few should be afforded the mercy and respect of the free people. Sorry, that exchange was probably wholly inexplicable to those of you who do not follow American football. My apologies. Um, 
except surrenders. Except surrenders. Okay. Um, except I've got to go back to Rogren first before I can accept any surrenders. All right, hang on. Uh, Mr. Forge Worker, if you wouldn't mind coming this way, we're going to return to uh, Rogren, the well named Rogren. Okay. My shadow is still holding. Oh, look at these guys. They're very excited. Hey, Rogren, hang on. I'm just going to come right up here. And then there we go. Yep, like to fight from the advantage of the higher ground. Uh, though I guess against significantly shorter opponents, the advantage there might be somewhat limited or rather mitigated by the fact that they are striking at my knees now and I have to, I can barely reach them with the slope, but I think I should still be okay. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna just try to stay in practice of remembering to heal myself occasionally because, you know, best practices for guardians, which may be rather tough, but are not wholly invulnerable as those trolls and archers outside the gates were reminding me only too recently. So, um, oh, you broke my cloak. How dare you? All right. Um, Rogren, yeah. So I, I have discommoded the anvils. That's what I have done. Well done, my friend. No problem. When I discommode an anvil, I really discommode an anvil. Let us see these orcs try to forge new weapons. We have at least made it more difficult for them to do so, if not outright impossible. <laughs> Man. I mean, if I can push them over, they can stand them up. It's a little bit annoying, admittedly. <laughs> what am I, what am I going to go do next? Like egg their little huts? Uh, you know, am I going to, am I going to, am I going to TP the forges? What, what's... Okay, it's fine. While I worked to accomplish that super important task, I stood on the cliff's edge and beheld a rather large improve no, movement, not improvement, a rather large movement of orcs and trolls moving from south to north on the floor of the valley. Perhaps you can see what they're up to. It will be nothing good, that much is certain, but there may be treasure in it. Okay, how? Our knowledge worth having. Any enemies you defeat while you search will also help others among our soldiers. Okay, great. And will be no waste of effort. I saw that group of orcs and trolls in the basin of the Vale, the northeast of the crag in which Dorthong stands. Okay, so I will defeat foes, and I will search the basin where the group of orcs traveled. Okay, so I'm looking at that whole strip there. No, that's for the few come forward. So I'm looking at that spot right there next to the road, which is fine. And just that and defeating general foes no I guess all of the foes are standing on top of each other in that one spot so that's unexpected but you can't put anything past these Udun orcs <laughs> right. JJ says, now try starting a conversation with our enemies and just repeating everything they say. That'll annoy them for sure. Likely a bot. You can remain skeptical if you like, but that fishmonger was up to no good. And I can, you know, I think I'm, I think I pretty much proved, uh oh, oh. Oh no, I'm accidentally heading up to the fortress. Am I going to get uh, epic oh, quests no. that are going to take me up there? Took the wrong turn towards the architecture I really want to examine, but uh, is, is the epic taking me back up to Dorthang? You'll go back there, yeah. Okay, fine. Then I can be restrained now and go okay, down the yeah. correct road. Yeah, that's fine. That's, you know, like totally as focused as, you know, I usually want to be anyway, so... It's fine. Still not too purple. Beginning to close in on 104. Uh, still rather slowly. If I do XP acceleration, on, I'm still just accelerated from my daily, right? It's not, it's not going to accelerate it more, is it, if I put more? Uh, 
it just extends it. Just time, extends but, it. That's what yeah. I thought. Yeah. Okay. So it doesn't like I can't no, do like double, double acceleration or something. Okay. Nope. I love the little purple flashes. You know, it's just kind of like I don't know what it's like, but it's kind of nice. It's it's pleasant. It's um, basically a warning, kind of like the ice in Wildemar. Right. Yeah, no, the limited, the time limited accelerators do stack. Um, they just don't stack like on top. They just they stack in length, as I understand. So. so if you get one for an hour, you add another one, you get two hours. Right. But okay. they're both like one. Right. Okay. All right. Let's do this. I guess we have to. Do these count? Are you foes who count towards my? You are! How lovely. That's excellent. So I don't have to worry that I'm wasting my time. I can just shout in a extremely impressive fashion and daunt my foes, which I assume that that... Do I have a, do I have a skill called daunt? Because I, I want one. Um, does anybody have a daunt? Is that a, That seems like a thing. Like, I, I have something tells me that somebody can daunt someone, shouldn't they? Uh oh, I, look at that, I collected crankshafts. Accidentally, like. And you gears. Will do that, Mordor. Look at that, I guess crankshafts and gears all over the place. Okay. Yeah, the Sh game has a liberal definition of who foes are. Um, yeah. Yeah, for example, in the anniversary where you go collect shards of Boromir's horn in the the waters, the shore of Anduin, you wind up killing flies and they count them. Like, how are these foes are Gondor? Right, right. Well, I mean, look, the flies, that's easy to understand. Um, and I thought that it was hard to understand in Athelion when the frogs counted as foes. Because those, that seemed a little bit like, the flies, I, I can easily... Um, suspect of having malicious intent towards Gondor and frankly all of humanity, but um, the frogs seemed to, at first, you know, from a distance like, seemed, you know, like they were pretty much more or less just minding their own business, but um, but then they started like laying into me from all sides, and so I, I began to see the point. Okay, well, it was kind of this guy. And now that forge worker's going to come over because he's like, I hear you needed foes, so I've um, I've come to volunteer. Oh, no, he's not. Okay, I will leave you alive then. And we are good coming mm -hmm. on the way. Still headed in the right direction. See, they didn't look too fell to me, Zach. I mean, I, I, didn't, I wasn't thinking... Their fellness was not overwhelming. It really wasn't. But I guess that was me wrong. Oh, he just wanted to get you to croak, that's all. Right, yeah. I guess that was the point. <laughs> um, did you see him leave a stream? So I still don't get the orange mist like that emerges from them. I could understand if they were like emer like oozing the purple cloud. That is a huge slug. Is that way bigger than this than this than the slag slugs? Yep. Up before I think they've grown. They grow them bigger down mm -hmm. here. Yeah, Ooh. they sent the, the junior varsity out to the slag hills. Right. A black Numenorean warrior. Wait, he's a foe, isn't he? Yes he is. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Come here, Mr. Foe. Even the slugs are foes as far as the game tears. All right, so you've got the eye in your chest piece, actually right above your solar plexus, so that's fine. Hang on, let me start. It'll take me a while to kill you anyway, Mr. Dude, so let me just kind of go on, and I'll, I'll start a, a slaughtering cycle here while we're talking. So your... What other kinds of things do you have going on there with your gear? Your helmet looks almost like a crown. That's really just from the front. The bladed spikes on your shoulders are kind of, you know, sort of predictable in the sense that all the keen bad guys seem to have that kind of thing uncomfortable, though it seems. And your clasp for your cloak is frankly a little dull. Apart from the eye, which I like, the orange eye, 
the orange and yellow kind of glowing eye like that is really pretty fun because it looks sort of like a, a you know an angry sun, like a parody of the sun itself. But um, okay, other than that, the black Numenorian less um, it had less. Uh, Oh, hey, do you want to surrender? Are you going to take a knee? Accepting surrender. I just, just... That's a side quest. I know it is, but he was right there, you know? So I, know. I just figured there I was and there he was. and Oh, they're running over you, aren't they? I didn't do anything. No, I did, and then they just left me. I feel... I feel ignored. I really do. And guardians hate to feel ignored. Excuse me. Sorry, Mr. Yeah, Troll. Come on over and taunt them. Yeah, that's what that I was. You, that's what I was. That's what I was thinking. Skills. So I'm gonna do this. I oh he walked away. That's just extra rude. Would you get over here, Mr. Troll? No, not that close. Okay, right. So I'm gonna do this instead. I said get over here. Okay, great. And then I'm gonna do this, and then we're gonna start taking you out, you know, in a more or less methodic... Oh, and slugs! Oh, this is a party right here. This is where the action is. I should probably... No oh, thank you. Knocked me clear of the ooze, which was vile, I think. That seems a fair word for it. And... Oh, and more! This is great! Oh, man, this is like... Uh... I don't even know what this is like. This is just gorgeous. I call this efficiency right here. I'm gonna keep everybody in line. And more slugs! More slugs. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is great. It's the bottomless well of... He's actually dribbling that boulder, wasn't he? Okay, things are dying, but are we actually facing fewer creatures? I think maybe there's a net reduction in total creatures. Now stop knocking me into other people, would you please? Okay, I think I have probably by now managed to notch plenty of foes, so Hey, it worked! Oh, right, my alt worked. Excellent. Ah, <laughs> good job. I found it. So that was exciting. Um, okay. And one last archer, naturally. You little git. They are so annoying. Oh, okay. Well, that was bracing. Yeah, it was actually fun. Yeah. Two levels under. Two levels under. Not no for problem. Long. No problem. Okay. Um, and let's see. Just trying to orient. Oh, right. There's the cabin on the hill. Great. So I know where I am. And that is an unlabeled. Or is that Ang? But Seriously? We're going to put the campfire right in the middle of the name so we can't read Anglach? Looks like an L? Sounds yes. like L. Anglach. Okay, that's probably what I'm looking at, right? Up on the hill? I bet yes. it is. All right. Cool. All right. Um, oh, hey, there's a war-weary dude. I bet he's just pining to surrender. You know, just kind of, I'm not going to go out of my way, but if they're here, I might as well. See, I was trying to, like, Talk to him from around the corner. Be like, Psst, hey, buddy, want to surrender? Come over here. Yeah. No problem. Okay, good, good. All right, so if I see, because I'm, uh, I got how many? Oh, I knew except 10 surrenders. Never mind, I'm never going to get that many. Okay, there's another page. Okay, that's fine. All right, and there we go. It's a 
I always feel like when I'm, you know, running yellow line, I always feel like quoting Fezzik. I haven't fought just one person for so long. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. And, no, no, turn around when you're reading a page. Okay, more pages. Here would be the parade ground of his orcish hordes and the great forge works for their weapons and armor. So the pages have basically been left as a kind of low-budget version of those tourist plaques that guide you around, essentially. That's, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Um, yeah, I'm carrying... Oh, wait, hang on. There was a thing I was supposed to do that I just passed. Um, what was it? It was... Uh, oh, I was supposed to search the basin, right? I, I, I got caught up in smashing everybody... Is that where the basin is meant to be? I know that's a frightened dwarf. Oh, right, he wants to surrender, probably. Yeah, this guy doesn't want to surrender. Oh, sure, you're just going to back off and shoot me more. You would. You despicable, slimy little archer, you. Okay. Uh-huh. That's right. No. Nope. I didn't think you were prepared for that. I gotta find somebody to fix my cloak. I need a tailor of some kind. I guess somebody technically repairs are what I need, but it seems like an odd thing. So, okay, so anyway, I'm searching, right? This is the area in which I'm searching, right? Where the my, you know, Royal Rumble was just a little while back. Now look at that. Lots of wood, no pelvis, right? So that's... Um, Frankly disappointing, though that fire is so large, I would hate to see the size of pelvis that would need to go into decorative. Okay, wait, dead orcs and trolls. I think that was me, though. The cause of the infighting? No, no, no. I think actually I killed all of them because that's actually fewer than I just killed. Though I don't think I chopped them up. Those, that looks like a half a troll. Yeah. Okay. I don't think I actually dismembered them first, but oh, I've got to go back to more now. Great. All the way back. That's lovely. I will see. It would be cool if you could use your crafting profession to repair equipment. That would be neat. All right. Come wayward. Back to more now. If you gallop fast enough, maybe they won't catch us. Okay. Just a little purple flash. I suspect this of being the right way. It is, yep. I'm on the straight road for more an hour. That's excellent. I think I got this um, war steed gear from the Great Wedding, didn't I? I think so. Yeah, the cosmetic uh, yeah. came with uh, getting this, the main steed. Yeah, yeah. It's really elegant, quite frankly. It is. I like it. It looks great dyed Iron and Lune Blue as I do with everything. Oh, Iron Lune and Blue is really a great color, yeah. Mm hmm. Okay, Rogren. Let's do this. Did you find the orcs and trolls I saw from the height? Uh, yeah. Yeah, they were dismembered. And then next to the huge pile of dismembered corpses were also the orcs and trolls that you saw. Uh, okay, number of dead ones. They argued among themselves, and then they all argued with me, and then they all died. How very like orcs. I do not doubt they would pose more of a threat if they could work together, but their penchant for squabbling leaves them vulnerable to their own fellows. They are weak-minded creatures, and in the absence of Sauron, they do not know what to do. Still, we should not underestimate them, for they can pose a threat to us in great enough numbers. That reminds me, did you see Anoth while you traveled? No, I did not. I climbed up here with him, but he left shortly afterward and has not returned. I hope he's all right, too. Am I meant to find him? Wait, hang on. Okay. Boom! 
104. Oh, yeah. You speak to Enoth. Did I speak to Enoth? No. We established that. As, he tra as we traveled to Udun, he spoke to me of his ancestors, the Thondrum. Yeah, he's the guy I wanted to hang with. And told me all their sad history. Oh, man, why didn't he tell me all their sad history? I mean, maybe that counted, what he already did do. But I'd like to hear more. He holds in his heart the grief of their deaths, though most of them died more than a thousand years ago. He desired to go to the forces of Durthond, which was their watch post. Durthond. Okay. Right, and reclaim it from any orcs who possess it. I desire to go to Durthond also. I thought they were courageous words, but as I look out at the dark skies over Gorgoroth, I wonder if there was a touch of the fool in them. Okay. Anoth may be in the right, but he is one man only. All right, I got to find him. You're just going to hang here and tip over anvils. The fortress of the Thondrim is to the southeast. See it there, tower. I, I've been looking. Uh, okay, but I don't know if the orcs call it now, what the orcs call it now. Find Anoth and render him what aid you can. Okay. All right. I'm going to get, um, what are these? Expeditionary gauges. Okay. Oh, look, I get light of Arendel. There we are. Uh huh. Okay. But no essences, huh? Are the essences this like obviate the essences? Who needs essences? Um, some gear will have essence slots. Some won't. The Light of Arendelle is really what you need more than anything else. Right. Yeah, the essences are just kind of lame. Okay. All right. That's fine. Okay. Looking forward to getting some Light of Arendelle gear. In the meantime, hang on. So uh, I was just looking to see if I'd found any things that could be rendered down for uh, Motes of Marvel. Um... Now we just got some stuff. We got what do we got? Tattered Doomfold parchments. Uh, no, that's all crafting mats. Anorian um, herbs. Seriously, I'm not going to eat anything I pick up off the ground around here. Much less that I pillage off a corpse. That's pretty gross. Yeah, generally it's only going to be uh, cosmetics that you pick up, which won't be here, or actual gear. Anything else, it's like crafting mats or junk. Okay. And don't go talk to this guy in the background up here in the corner. He will murder you. Which guy? Oh, the one just beyond this boulder. Um, I don't see him. Oh, uh, up the hill? Yeah. The one that I'm looking at. Don't oh. go talk to him. Oh, he up to the right. Him. I was looking down to the left. Sorry. Yeah, he's... he's. Uh... Oh, Sharlog Manbreaker, huh? I can't even take him, so... All right, I'll stay out of his way. Red line. Kundalar Warrior Boy, there is really a melting pot here. Hey, Anoth, how's it going? That's great. Hang on, I'm just... Uh, I brought a friend. Kundalar Warrior, I love their little spiky helmets. Those are adorable. I would have thought maybe he could, like... Because, you know, don't they sometimes wind turbans around those helmets with the yep. spikes? That's even cooler. Love the chainmail draperies covering your ears. That's very practical. Whoa. I was just... Bird device on shield. I was just shining there. Was I... Oh, yeah, the bird device is really cool. Was that... I, I don't know. I look just a, like just a touch radiant there, but I guess I'm just a little close up. Uh kind of overwhelmed by my own um, you know impressiveness here which one always has to be careful about that kind of thing um, not what I was looking for that's what I'm looking for okay be right with you enough just just don't worry about it you stay there okay yep I got this I got this covered man all right all right well look at the, his mask compliant anyway I'll stay six feet away from you and I'll see so you don't have to worry about it oh, oh. Wigan just looking dashing Help okay friend I have already drawn the ire of the orcs okay sure they have sent a number of arrows my way in return of the favor I slew two of the beasts from great range okay if you do say so yourself this was once Dorthon the fortress from which Throndrim the Throndrim the Th Thondrim 
keep adding an R, kept watch on Odoon. It is called Durthang now, in mockery of its original name. Aha, right. That is another insult for me to avenge, and I will do it. Would you hear the tale of the Thondrum? Yes, please. I would recount it to you so you will know why I want Durthang taken from the orcs. The tale is emblazoned in my memory. It will be a simple matter. Good, let's let's do that. Let's talk, Anoth. I will tell you the tale. Okay. After the last alliance of elves, men and elves defeated Sauron and raised his tower to the ground. A watch was placed on Gorgoroth. The men of Gondor built many fortifications within Mordor, such as the towers at the Black Gate, the Shadow Guard of Ost Dythir, and Durthand. For more than a thousand years, the Thondrim maintained the vigil on Mordor, but even the most important watches must wane. This is just what I was hoping for. My tale begins more than a thousand years ago, when the watch on Mordor had already begun to fail. Okay, hang on. Uh, imaginary Anoth. We're looking around. Okay, so we say we're in ruins. I'm just trying to see what I'm doing, Anoth. I need to take stock of what th native Thondrum architecture looks like. And it's the classic Gondorian. Look at those trees on the door. That is just classic. A little wings up on the top. Look at the wizard statue with the sword in his hand. Oh, man, those are... Whoever designed that statue, I mean, like, you know, like whatever sculptor designed that statue, I just hope he patented that thing. And it was receiving, you know, um, kickbacks every time, uh, you know, some kind of royalty. Because they were everywhere. That was just, like, the craze in some Gondorian period or other. So, okay. Yep. Right. Hi, man. Sorry, don't be in your personal space. I'm just looking at the trim, if that's okay. Need to look at the characteristics of that. Okay. Right, standard kind of bronzish on black, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll recognize that when I see it, just like the Towers of the Teeth, which, of course, is just what one should expect. Oh, hey. Look, if, so that's a Thillian? Right, the same, they've got the same things as Anoth there. No, that must be the symbol of the Thondrim, which is why I didn't recognize it, because I'd actually, I think, never seen it before. So he's wearing, Anoth, that is, is wearing the mark of his ancestors, not of his current country, because he didn't look like a ranger of Athelion, I knew. Nice Gondorian tower symbol. Yeah, tower symbol. So like the tower of, of like watch. And notice how in the middle is like what looks, it's like, oh, it's not an eye, <clears throat> right? But it's eye-like, right? As they're keeping an eye out on Mordor. I like that. Okay. Possibly beaconite-like? Well, sort of, maybe a little bit beacon-ish. Um, but, uh, yeah, okay. Oh, I see. So... Back in the past, he's imagining the days before he had to wear a face mask. I think we've all been there enough. Okay, I've heard tales of the bravery of the Thondrim for all my life. They were a shining light of Gondor's goodness, blazing within the shadows of Mordor. See them now where they stand, defiant and bold. They look kind of like Dunedain sitting near a fire to me, or standing. Most of them are, in fact, standing, so that's something. You can see it so clearly. Yeah. Me too. Mostly. This little mist. Um, which I thought was atmospheric and kind of nice. Durthon, the Black Shield. Proud fortress of the Thondrim. Little run down, though. Bit of a fixer-upper, if you don't mind my saying. Um, Carrion Crows. It has been assailed many times, but... Uh, um, sorry, you see the features of men who names... Na whose names my family honors to this day, Bonor the Steadfast, who never speaks falsely. None had the quick, a fighter of unmatched speed. Nope, oh, hang on. Continuing the tour in this direction. Uh, and most clearly of all, Halanon, from whom I trace my lineage. We must not despair. That is the weapon of the enemy. Despair and surprise. We, uh, yes, that is among the... Enemies of the weapon are such diverse elements as 
Oh, hang on, that guy's tuckered out. In Gondor today, he is known by another name, the Survivor. Okay, that's cool. It was even cooler before the reality show. One year before the fall of Durathon, assassins creep into the towers at the Moranen. Every man of Gondor within the Moranen is slain. Yikes. Bonor, Halanon, we are cut off from Gondor. No one can reach us. Then we, we are alone. The morale of the defenders flags with these tidings. What, that they're cut off from reinforcements and have no escape? Those are... Yeah, King Arnil tries to send reinforcements to Durthond, but they cannot pass the Black Gate. Arnil had his hands full. The Thrandrim do not know of the, this, of course. They believe themselves abandoned. Food stores run low and hundreds fall to starvation. There are distasteful rumors, aren't there always? Right, that guy looks like he's eating, but you don't believe them. Yeah, no, no, me neither. I've tarried over long in the telling of my story. I will hasten the tale. No, no, no rush. It's good. I'm always around for some narrative. Uh, by the onset of winter, few only among the Thondrim survive. That is when the forces of Mordor come again to Durthond. Flying beast! Oh, there he is. Uh-oh. That guy looks like he's no... Good. Wait a second. Is that a winged Nazgul? A thousand years before the time? Oh, Grim Southrun. That's not good. So wait, did he, is he, is he's not up there still. Hmm. Boy, Grim Southrun, you kind of outed the whole winged Nazgul thing significantly early, if it's blazoned in the memory of my friend over here. Uruhor? Who actually has no face? Grim Southron. Have to admit, there are other Nazgul with cooler names than Grim Southron. Little generic. Um, but, I mean, it's almost like having a, having a Nazgul named Cranky Easterling or something like that, right? Um, but I guess not everybody can be the wrath of was it the gloom of Nern, right? That's it, the gloom of Nern. By far my favorite Nazgul, clearly. Okay. What are we looking at here, Anoth? Only three there are, but they are figures out of nightmare. Two of the beings of we, uh, two of the are the beings we have come to know as the Nazgul, the ringwraiths of Sauron. The third may have been a man once, but through the foul sorceries of his master in the Dark Tower, he didn't have a face. He has become something else. He is Ugrukhor. I left out the G before. Ugrukhor, the captain of the pit. Nice title. He comes now to Durthond with an offer. Whoa. Bunch of underlings. What do you want, Urukor? State your business and go. What, are they just like lounging? Where are the rest of your men? This cannot be all that remain. There are more within the keep. What do you want? Oh yeah, lots more. Totally not my all of my men. These men can barely stand. Your supply of food must be gone or nearly so. I am moved to pity. You cannot think to hold this fortress any longer. Allow me to grant you this boon in recognition of your proud defiance. Surrender to me now. You are a fool if you think we will. Okay, so the boon is surrender. I might come back in a day with the same offer. And we might give you the same answer. I might come back in a month or in a year. With the same snide offer, will you still be alive to accept my offer? 
No, but I'll still be alive to refuse it. Surrender to me now, and I will grant you safe passage back through the Black Gate. The fortress is lost. Grant me this place, and you need not perish in its defense. He seems surprisingly reasonable. I mean, not that I believe him, but... Should they have refused? Every man there knew Urukhar, Ugrukhor for a liar, but the pit of despair into which they had fallen could not be surmounted. They had been hardy men once, but a year of starvation and fear must have taken its toll. No doubt their fear was made stronger by the presence of the Nazgul, but I can understand the draw of even the faintest of hopes in that dark pit. The Thondrim surrendered to Ugrukhor. Durthond was lost. Oh, man. Oh. Ah, uh, this is a more pleasant place than I was expecting to come back to. Hang on, Anoth. This looks really nice. Ah. Uh, yeah. After some time in Udun, this is like a, a mini break. I can see why you're going to your happy place here, Anoth. This is nice. The Thondrim cast aside their weapons, and beneath Ugrukhor's watchful gaze, they march to the Marana, now held by the orcs. The gate opens. Sixty men, all that remained of the Thondrim, pass through the gate. At a signal from Ugrukhor, the archers on the walls fill the air with death. All of the Thondrim were slain, save one. I can see why your family traces its... Uh, Wait, oh, oh dear. The black gate passed the black gate unharmed. Wait, what? Why, you vile creatures? I promise nothing afterward. Oh, right. Oh, dear. Why let me live? Go to your white city. Tell them a new captain rules the pit. Huh, yeah, the juxtaposition onto the fair landscape of Athelion is a little disturbing, Anoth. That is the story of the Thondrim. Only, ha only Halanon survived, and his account is kept in the archives of Minas Tirith. It is Trenarn Bronad, the survivor's tale. I say the tale is ended, but that is not truly so. I say the tale is ended, but I don't mean it. Halanon's descendants, the sons of the survivor, did not forget the Thondrim. Neither did Ugrakor forget them. I'm looking for the survivor kids to come. The years and the centuries passed. Oh man, we are continuing this story. From time to time, scouts from the White City would find that Ugrakor had been in Gondor. It would kind of stand out on the streets. He had left one of the cloven shields of the Thondrim behind. They were reminders of his cruelty. Even now, a thousand years later, he leads, leaves them still. What, shields? He still comes on for shield drop-offs? I don't think I've ever been faked out trying to end a, an instance like that. Huh. That's a fascinating story, Anoth. Especially the shield business. Yep. Now I know the tale. And so it was that yeah. only one of the Thondry came alive out of Mordor that day. Halanon survived, but he was ever changed, and he swore to avenge his fallen friends and kin. He never did, but on his deathbed he asked his sons to remember what had happened at Dorthond, and to swear that they would do what he had not. But the years passed, and the sons became fathers, and their sons became fathers, and they told the story of the Thondrim, and they did nothing to avenge them. It seemed that Mordor and Ugrachor would, ex would escape judgment. Anoth's eyes are lit by a bright fire. But then it happened, Wigand. The host of the West arose and defeated Sauron's armies in battle. The, sort of, the border, well, I mean, at Pelennor, yeah. The borders of Mordor were breached. 
Sauron was destroyed. Can this be anything other than the vengeance of the Thondrim? Long delayed, but finally delivered. Yeah, just what it was. For the Thondrim. Okay, finish now. Hang on, I gotta check out Expeditionary Gauntlets. Okay, those are the heavy armor ones. Yeah, rest are mediums, mediums. Light gloves, presumably. Okay, so let's go with these. How are they looking? Pretty nice. Okay, plus two light of Arendo. Significant armor increase. Ugrukor betrayed the Thondry more than a thousand years ago. But my heart tells me that he lives still. Either through some dark art of Sauron's or some other vile sorcery. Whatever the means of its... It probably has to do with pistons. Whatever the means of his persistence, I am glad of it, for it means he will know who is responsible for his undoing. It doesn't actually mean that. There's a logical flaw in your statement, but it means that he will have the opportunity... I understand. We're, we're, we're closing the loop, Anoth, right? We're closing the loop. I'm, I'm tracking with you. But worry not. I have not abandoned my caution, as I know Rogren feared. I do not want to ruin this with haste. You, you want your vengeance against Ugrakor to be dragged out slowly over centuries. I do not want... Right, yeah. I have seen orcs on the walls of Durthang, but not so many as might have been stationed... must have been stationed here during the war. I think Durthang does not have as many defenders as the orcs want us to think. Let us enter the fortress and see what's going on inside. Defeat enemies inside Durthong, and if there are prisoners in the dungeons, we should set them free. Okay. Defeat orc kind inside Durthong. That's great. I'm going to have to stop pretty soon. Um, my voice is just about kicked. Uh, I've been talking for almost 13 solid hours now, and I am very soon not going to be able to talk very well at all. Um, but... Um, I feel that pain. Yeah, exactly. Um, this isn't the best place in the world to stop, but I think... It's I would good. recommend probably riding back to Udun so you can repair your stuff and whatever. Yeah, that's a good idea. Actually, so Anoth, hang on here. I'm just going to actually jet. I'm going to... Poor, I, you know, didn't... Uh, I didn't... Uh, what do you call it? What's the word? Milestone. Milestone. Didn't milestone that place for no reason. So let's go back there and let's find somebody I can mend my cloak if that doesn't seem too menial a task for folks... King Amir's got better things to do, presumably. Maybe this guy can heal my cloak. Hi there, healer. Can you heal my cloak? Oh, you can. Fairy, okay. I still want to know why they called Amir King Amir, not Aramir King, like it's supposed to be. Right. Well, you know, it's from a Gondorian perspective, I think. They called him Amir King outside of Aragorn's pavilion. I know, that was polite, you know. Mm. But, uh... Okay. They're less polite here in Mordor. They're like, this is not how we do it. Okay. Um, all right. Let's see what those gauntlets look like. Shinier. Okay. There is shininess upgrade. And, oh, wait, hang on. There was a... That's good. Yeah, no, we're fine. And let me just check my loot. Or do I have anything tasty? No, piles of intriguing filth. That's, no, 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 I am not intrigued by the filth. I'm just not, we're destroying the filth, howsoever intriguing it might at first appear, and we're going to go, wasn't there a Forge Master? I thought I saw, a, yeah, there is, yeah, uh-huh. So we're going to do that, and we're going to... Now then. A new greatsword. What do we got? Area of effect, skill damage, sure. Vexing blow, brutal assault, okay. Okay. Seems reasonable. Oh, got some reforging here. Yeah. Um, okay, bleed damage, sure, why not? Okay. Do I have an open slot? I do not. Look at this. Wigand is just industrious with his... Grifflet has, like, no legendaries at all. 
Uh, and he's full up. Wow. Huh. Who knew? And we'll hang on to the other one. Um, okay. All right. Well, that I think is good. I don't have any things I can, I can, no, render down for Ash. No. Okay. That's fine. All right. Very good. So I think here, dear friends, I'm going to take my parting from you while I still can audibly take my parting from you. Um, Thanks, everybody, for joining me. This was a super fun day. I hope that those of you who are here with me, I know that some of you were able to join us for some other events earlier today. If not, you can still catch some of the uh, recordings in the VOD, and we're going to be posting some to YouTube. Um, but uh, this has been a delightful day. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, I have had great fun. I made it through Mordor with a comparatively small number of deaths. Uh, Only so one. All in all, it was a very successful day. So thank you, everybody, for all of your support and all of your help. Thanks again for everybody's support during our fundraiser this year um, and just all year round. I said this at the beginning of the day, but, um, you know, our... Uh, especially those of you who make monthly donations to Signum have been so faithful in supporting Signum uh, over time. And, uh, you know, the 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 persistence of our monthly donors uh, is is very inspiring. Um, so I really appreciate that. And to everybody who makes one time donations, uh, you know, in you know at, at every year, that is, uh, again, also just wonderful and very much appreciated. Um, if you haven't gotten a chance to donate yet, the fundraising campaign might officially be over. But I as I've said before, the fundraising campaign is primarily the time of year when I, A, uh, go out of my way to remind you to donate, and B, when I um, uh, spend more time remembering to thank you guys for the donations that you regularly make. Um, we are, of course, able to accept donations at any time, um, and we still have some time. And about $10,000 or so more, we've, we're up to at least 65000 I haven't checked in a little while, but... Um, we, uh, we still have about $10,000 that we need more for the rest of the year, um, but I would love to, uh, and, and we'd love to see if we could hit our goal, make sure that we've got plenty uh, in our war chest for accreditation as we continue to move forward. But um, again, just super appreciate uh, the, uh, the generosity that you guys have shown and your uh, the community that we have built. I just love hanging out with you guys and it has been an honor and a privilege to be with you guys today and every day. So thanks everybody and I will see you guys around. See you next week for my regular broadcasts. Thanks everybody. Bye now. Thanks uh, Druid's Fire for your assistance in stealth healing. Uh, I would probably have died significantly more frequently yes, <laughs> without you there. So that was excellent. So thank you very much. Appreciate that. Thanks, everybody. Good night now.